pet grooming industry. Studies show the work-related pain in your industry is not decreasing, guys. It's on the rise. More than half of all grooming professionals continue to experience work-related pain. So you guys are all in the business. Half of this room right now is going to have chronic work-related pain unless they do something about it. Why do you think this is? Because people don't take care of themselves. <laughs> Exactly. Think, well, I, I'm, I'm too busy. I have to work. I can't. I don't have that time. That's mm -hmm. a big mentality in this industry. Yeah, absolutely. And then you go, go, go. Yeah. Do you think there's a lot of stressors involved in what you guys are doing? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to go through. What is a stressor, first of all? It's a hard, difficult, or intense experience, which, if prolonged, could cause irritation or damage to a person's nervous system. Do you guys think you guys are working hard? Yes. For sure. Do you guys think you're uh, doing a lot of prolonged same movements and motions every day? Absolutely. Do you think that's putting a lot of stress on the body? Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. So we look at what can cause stress to a groomer. Not only like a hairdresser, hairstylist, they're bent over, hunched over. They don't have to pick the person up and put them in the seat. And they don't have to worry about them snapping back and biting them every three or four minutes. That's a stressful situation. You guys are all going to be going through it every single day. S prolonged movements, sweeping, driving to the office in the morning. You could get in a car accident. All the chemical irritants, these are all things that are stressors to your body that your body has to deal with each and every single day. This is super small, but it's the hazards data sheet for pet grooming. This is courtesy of OSHA. I couldn't fit it all on the page without going to like a size 2 font. Again, I compared this to the... Uh, the uh, hairstylist industry, yours is about double the length. And I can't even read those now or I would. Um, you know, the lists go on and on. You guys should really check this out. It's wild. Um, the chemical exposure, the dust, the dander, dermatitis. Is very. These are all things that, again, your body has to handle. Your, guys has to, your body has to deal with these stressors that you're coming up against every single day that you guys go into work. And so constant stress leads to, and this is the most common one in your industry, musculoskeletal disorders. And so the World Health Organization of Musculoskeletal Disorders, the disorder of the muscles, tendons, peripheral nerves, or vascular system not directly resulting from acute trauma or instantaneous events. So most people think stress. They think like they got hit by a car, or they got hit with a soccer ball, or they got hit with something. No, it's the small micro trauma that you guys are going through each and every day. And again, if you're not getting the proper nutrition, if you're not getting the proper rest, if you're not exercising and strengthening your body properly, these are the things that are going to bioaccumulate with time and they cause cumulative trauma and, again, prolonged static posture. But they're going to lead to this stuff. And so this is a study. This is out of the Oxford Journal of Occupational Medicine. They looked at grooming professionals and then they looked at a control group. Neck pain. 46% of grooming professionals had neck pain as compared to 19% in the control group. So double. Shoulder pain, 55% compared to 11% in the control group. Five times as likely to have shoulder pain. Elbow pain, 11%. That's a big one we see with you guys, elbows and wrists. 11% in the grooming industry as compared to 1% in the control group. 11 times more likely to have elbow pain. Wrist and hand, 43% compared to nine. Again, five times as likely to have wrist and hand pain. Upper back, 40% compared to five. Eight times more likely that you guys are going to have upper back pain than a controlled group population. You guys get the idea. What you're doing is very stressful on the body. If you're not proactive, you're going to end up just like all of these other people.